Okay, these are the smallest boys I have remaining here. Three are from Corky's litter. Uh, those are two of the um, shaggy wavy coats ready to go home September 24th. Shaggy wavy will look like this, but a lot smaller because they're only going to be like 12, 15 pounds. <coughs> yes, I'm talking about you. And then I know I stepped on that one little paw a minute ago and now he's like sulking. But this one's Maggie's smallest boy, this big fluffy one. He's ready to go home now. He's telling Kane what's going on. Kane's that tiny flat coated one. Now what we love about flat, never needs grooming, doesn't shed, still hypoallergenic, gets the DNA typing in it. It's just an amazing coat type. There's a lady in Kentucky, she actually uh, trademarked the, this look, the hypoallergenic, non-shedding, flat coated golden doodle as a comfort doodle, uh, comfort golden retriever. It's a non-shedding golden retriever. And it's gonna look like a tiny golden retriever. And you just brush it. Doesn't need uh, grooming. There's actually a picture on Corky's page on my website. Uh, go all the way down to the bottom because uh, a gentleman has two of Corky's puppies and one looks like this and he loves it. And uh, hey, can you guys just let that bottle alone? I'm gonna take the plastic off of it, but I have to put it down there. Or you guys crawl up behind my desk. Yes, I know. That is one of Corky's boys. And he would be a good working class dog. He just listens and pays attention to everything. And uh, Corky does have a lot of uh, working class dogs. Uh, good citizen award dogs and so forth. Actually, this one with the raggedy blue that pays so much attention, that's actually Layla's boy. Larry, ready to go home right now, aren't you? You would be a great working class dog. So this is Larry from Layla. Larry from Layla. Look at you, you'd be a great working class pup. Yes, you would. You'd be a good working class puppy. Oh, just sit on my feet for attention and beg. Yes, you do. And then give up and go look for somebody else to play with. So the fluffy one, the darkest one, the biggest dark one there, ready to go home now. He's bigger because he's a little older. That's from Maggie's litter. I just turned eight weeks old, ready to go home now. Oh, did you be baby, did you? Look at him, he'll still play. Get up out of the picture. Up, out, 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 go. Buff, up. Okay, you gonna sit or go up? You want out? Okay, I'll let you big ones out. Okay, the big ones are gone. That's in my wool babies. That's in my wool babies. Yes, these are my little babies. Okay. No, you went out too, but not right now. Okay, I'm gonna take a video of you. Littlest boy for Maggie is Mickey. Mickey under the chair there, ready to go now. So he's the biggest. He could get your 18, 20 pounder. So if you're saying you just want a little bit bigger. Now that's just puppy play. He'll come back and play and forgive him. Mm -hmm. He's okay. Look at that one. He just plays. Oh, little king, the little flat coated one. Wait, wait. Larry going in. Nope, that's the brother. No. Okay, the one with that raggedy blue over there with Keen right now is Larry from Layla's. Ready to go home now. Look at him. He pounces on his sisters all the time. He would be this excellent working class puppy. So that's Larry right there. Trying to chase his tail. There goes Larry. Great working class dog, that's in Layla's litter. Ready to go home today, he's eight weeks old. Gorgeous little puppy, there he is. And Maggie there laying down, he can go home today. He could be 
So, Kane is from Corky's litter right there, the straight haired one, the non shedding, hypoallergenic, flat coated golden doodle, also called a comfort retriever. And then you have two of the shaggy ones from Corky. Okay, so this is a little Corky boy right here. You can tell because their coats aren't quite as long yet. So they'll get a little shaggier yet as in, you know, another week. Their fur is going to grow a lot. Yes, this is the one I said too. This one here, a great working class personality. The blue one from Corky's litter. Because Corky, well, Corky's, up. this is her last litter. So she has a lot of working class dogs out there. A lot. A lot of therapy dogs. Of course, you know, so like reported back, I said she has the most out of any of my dogs, but she's also the oldest. So here. So if you're looking for working class, let's go with the blue and Layla and the blue and Corky. And look at that little guy. Oh, you're just so cute, Kane. I cannot help it. Oh, you did the little golden retriever. Oh, but you're non-shedding and hypoallergenic. And then my the two little blue boys, see? That you're, oh, so intelligent. You're so intelligent. I can't handle it. And then this little guy, oh, so cute. Look at you. Clyde. Oh my gosh, that stubby little nose. This English look is just, oh. I love the English look because you get those, the black pigment, the black nose, the black eyelids, the black lips. It, it just makes them all pop out and make them look like a teddy bear. Their paws are black. Hey, hey you, hey you, hey you. Hi. Hi, you're Corky's little baby. Let's look at that. And you're also the biggest of Corky's babies. See those little black lips so that when you smile and talk, everybody sees you, huh? Say, yes, I can talk. Puppy talk. Rum, 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 rum. And this is Miss Maggie's. Did I pull your string? Get that string out there, huh? Yeah. Oh, you want to play? You want to play? Yeah. Oh, sitting by my feet for attention. I know, all you guys, I pulled on your yarn so I could see it earlier when I had people in here visiting, when they decided which puppy they want. And they chose Inspector from Isabel's litter. So that one's gone, that little guy. He was the smallest little boy here. That was the decision maker for them. I know, it was a hard decision. They liked you all. They loved Mr. King. And who was their other pick? feel like it was Larry right there. So they're all super calm. That's what makes them great little therapy dogs. Because this is what you get. Little doggies that lay around. I uh, bring them in here. They play with their toys that they find on the floor. and. They just naturally leave everything else alone. So basically, if it's on the floor, it's theirs. So like my daughter says, it, you know, as far as like Barbies, if their girls leave the Barbies on the floor, they have six dogs in the house, the dogs will get the Barbies. If they're up on the fireplace ledge, they leave them alone. And I said, well, that's the same in my house. I have a dollhouse in my living room and if the dolls are on the second floor, Lucy doesn't bother them. If they're on the ground floor, Lucy has played with them once, but after I told her no, she actually didn't go back to them because I put them in the dollhouse. I think she now knows the dollhouse is off limits, but usually you just show them where their toys are at and they just, it's all they play with. Um, years ago, when I started, because been doing this for 20 years now but when I started up uh, I couldn't leave puppies in here for any amount of time unattended because they would chew up all my folders and tear everything off the shelves not the golden doodles my labradoodles because I started with golden doodles and labradoodles well the labradoodles were just too crazy and that's why I no longer breed them because 
I may have a 10 o'clock customer and a 11 o'clock customer. Say the 10 o'clock customer arrived early, was only here for 20 minutes and then left. And I want to go in the house for, look at him, listen to me. I want to go in the house for 40 minutes and the 11 o'clock ends up late. I may spend an hour in the house before I come back out. I want to come out and see the puppies sleeping or laying here playing with their toys. Well, I would, if I, the Labradoodles, I would come out here, everything was torn up, torn, my folders were all chewed up. They would have all these toys cleaned up. There's the blankets and the toys I give out. Everything was chewed up and torn up and uh, like these top baskets, they would clean everything out of those top baskets. I don't know how they would get up there. Uh, it's amazing. But golden doodles are just amazing. I always say, if you cannot train a golden doodle, there is no pet for you. Just give it up. You're not meant to be an animal owner because this is it. You just have to take them outside and potty train them and it's really easy, just especially with the doorbells. You see our doorbells on our doors. Uh, so they know that doorbell rings and needs are going outside. It's great if you live in a neighborhood too, you can open the door and ring the bell and the, my dogs run back in. It's a lot better than yelling their names. <laughs> you are so cute. Look at that little boy from Corky there with the line ribbon just sitting there. Oh, that's Cheney. Look at him just sit there. You're just such a little man sitting there. Don't you, Cheney? With that little stubby nose. Oh, you are adorable, Cheney. Mommy G loves you. Look at, look at that eye contact. Great eye contact, listening to my every word. You'd be very easy to train. Yes, very well behaved. And your brother sitting next to you, he's done cleaning himself up. He was busy there. That's Clyde. Oh, all three of these are here. These are the boys from Corky. So you got your, your if you're wanting that under 20 pound, these guys will actually should range from 12 to 15 pounds. So there's King, the comfort retriever. Clyde, the one with the blue ribbon there rolling over on his back. They're so adorable. And then if you said, I want a little bit bigger than 15 pounds, then we have Maggie's smallest boy. Maybe. Look at him. Yes, that's where the numbers come up to tell me how much you weigh when I put you on the scale. So, if you want one, but still you say, I don't want one to weigh more than 20 pounds. Go with Maggie's little boy there. Uh, that is Mickey. Mickey there and then Layla has the one last little boy and um, he also could go over 15 but stay under 20 and that's Larry there chewing on the wheel of my chair Larry Larry look, look he's just such a confident boy those two are just having a blast playing all day every day right all day every day Gorgeous. You're all gorgeous, right, Larry? Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Yes. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Also sweet. Hi, Mickey. So these are the smallest boys I have available right now. <laughs>